Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now, the 20th annual Las Vegas Juneteenth Festival is tomorrow. This is an extremely important day to celebrate and educate. So let's welcome festival coordinator Jay Haywood for more information on how to get involved. Hey, Jay. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good to see you. Good I'm to doing see well. You. Thank you so much. Just trying to stay cool. Oh, we all are. We all are. But let's start Definitely. with educating the community on the Juneteenth Festival. For those who don't know, what is Juneteenth and why are we celebrating it? Well, we celebrate Juneteenth because back in 1863, when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation that we all know so well, unfortunately, all slaves weren't freed when that was signed. Slaves, people still continue to be in slavery in the Deep South and, and toward Texas up until mid-1865. or mid wow. So if you can imagine being a slave two and a half years after the proclamation was signed, these people didn't get the word because it just wasn't, you know, it hadn't been gotten down to them. So General right. Granger goes down, he delivers the word. Jubilation breaks out on June 19, 1865, when everyone realizes that we are free, the emancipation has been signed, and that every African slave in this country is now free, and we're free from that bondage of slavery. Wow, so this is celebrating. So that's why we celebrate. A total amount of freedom for the, for the community. So let's move on to celebration. Yes. That's the perfect segue. So where, what time, and what can we expect at the Juneteenth Festival tomorrow? Oh, well, the Las Vegas Juneteenth Festival has been a staple here. This is our 20th year. Tomorrow we're going to be at uh, 951 West Lake Mead Boulevard at Doolittle Community Center. The uh, festival was originally slated to be outdoors. We like it to be an outdoor open air event. Right. Unfortunately, because of the excessive temperatures, in conjunction with the city, we decided to move it inside to make sure the public safety was uh, protected. So now we're going to be inside Doolittle Community Center from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. for this festival. That's awesome. Definitely mm -hmm. need to be inside during this, this heat. And who's behind the festival? Oh, def the, fe the festival is, uh, uh, was founded by Ms. Diane Pollard. It's a fundraiser, our annual fundraiser, not only to bring awareness to Juneteenth, but also to raise money for Rainbow Dreams Educational Foundation. And we have our event signature sponsored each year, which is Zappos. So Zappos Black Awareness and Rainbow Dreams Academy and Rainbow Dreams Educational Foundation, along with Councilman Cedric Creer from Ward 5, are bringing this event to Las Vegas this year for our 20th annual. Perfect. And Jay, last year but not least, you know, what do you want people to walk away with after they, after they visit the festival? What do you want people to learn? We want people to learn what Juneteenth is all about because a lot of people still don't know why we celebrate Juneteenth. Right. But we also want people to understand that although we've come so far and we still have a long way to go as African Americans, as people in this country, not only African Americans, but we want them to learn that it's okay to celebrate, it's okay to come together, yeah. woosa a little bit, celebrate how far we've come, but to reflect on where we've been so we know that we still have a long way to go. So it's going to be entertainment. We're going to have dancing, food, live acts. We're going to have vaccination stations from uh, First Med. Liberty Dental is going to be doing dental screenings. We're going to be doing a little bit of everything, but it's going to be a celebration for this holiday, all this right. monumental holiday. Jay, thank Definitely. you so much. We're excited for all the culture and community. We appreciate it, and have fun tomorrow. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.